Today I am be teaching you how to solve a Penrose cube. What is the Penrose cube? The Penrose cube is a 3 by 3 shaped mod with only 3 colors, in this case yellow, blue, and red. 3 of the edges have, two, have only 1 color, 1, 2, and 3, and some edges are the same, like this yellow, blue, yellow, blue, this um, red, blue, red, blue, and this yellow, red, yellow, red. And that's what makes this puzzle hard to solve. Uh, there are the same edges. There are only one color edges. So it's a really hard 3 by 3 shape on. But I've come up with a solution that is easier for you to solve the Penrose cube. In order to solve the Penrose cube, I recommend you to already know how to solve a 3x3 using the beginner's method, because that's what we're going to be using. So with that out of the way, let's start, let's get this Penrose cube scrambled. Now that we got this Penrose cube scrambled, uh, we're going to be starting off with a cross. So to solve the cross, we need to insert the uh, correct edges in the right spot. So we have the yellow blue, we can move it here by doing something like a U. Now we need the yellow yellow, which is this one. We can just do something like a D2 and an F2 to bring it up. Now for the yellow red, it's right here. So what we can do is do something like an F, U prime R, U to insert this edge and then the final edge the red and yellow we can just put it here by doing something like an F2 and that solves the cross. Let's do another example. Okay for this one I see this edge is in the right spot but this one is not However, if we do something like a U, it is still in the right spot. So we need to find the other red and blue, which is right here. So we can do something like this to insert it here. And for the final edge, the blue yellow, here, you'll move it to its spot like this. And that solves the cross. Let's do one more example and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, for the final example, yellow red, we need to find the other yellow red, which is here. So we can move it like this, then bring it up, then do an F prime. Yellow blue, this one. And the yellow yellow, the double yellow, we can do something like an G and then an F2 to finish the cross. Now for the second step, we'll insert the corners in the right spot. So let's start with the yellow yellow blue, which is here. So we can do the algorithm, but first we have to put in the right spot. So it's already in the right spot. And we'll have to do the algorithm. R prime, D prime, R, D. And if it's not oriented, then we have to do it again. And again. And just do uh, the algorithm again and again until it's correctly oriented. Now let's do the yellow, yellow, red. It's right here. We have to do a D2 to insert it. And I'll just do the algorithm R prime, D prime, R, D. And it immediately inserts it. It inserts and orients it correctly. Now we'll have to find the, uh, uh, the yellow, red, and red, which is here. Move it to the correct spot. Then do something like an R prime, D prime, R, D. Do it all over again. And 
and now as we can see it's oriented and for the final corner the yellow red and blue right here so we'll have to do something like an r prime d prime r d 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 okay now this is the tricky part so you enter the right corner but the corners are switched that's because we inserted the wrong kind of corner this is the corner we're actually supposed to insert so th that's why the penrose cube is tough so we can just do r prime d prime r d And now we've inserted the right corner, and the first layer of the Penrose cube is solved. Step 3 is inserting the right edges in these slots. So first off, we'll insert this edge, and to insert to here, we'll do something like a U, R, U prime, R prime, U prime, F prime U F. Now let's do another one. This one needs to go here. We'll do the algorithm again. So U R U prime R prime U prime F prime U F. Now let's do uh, this one. Now, if the cor the edge was to go here, then we'll have to do something like this. Watch carefully. U prime, L prime, U, L, U, F, U prime, F prime. Now, uh, if you get this case, when the edge is flipped, uh, you can uh, replace it with an edge that does not need to go here, for example, this one, and do either of the algorithms. Then align the edge where it needs to go with one of the algorithms. And then your, uh, your two layers are solved. The fourth step in solving the Penrose cube is orienting the top edges. And the good thing is about that step is that you won't get any dot cases, which are really annoying. So if you get a case like this, where only like three or one edge is oriented, uh, like this case, or you get something like this, this is not a parity. You just need to flip this edge, and how you do that is that you do something like an F, U, R, U prime, R prime, F prime, or you can do an F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. If you get like the L case, make sure you hold it like this, then do the algorithm F U R U prime R prime F prime and finally if you get this case the bar case do an F R U R prime U prime F prime and as we can see all the edges are oriented the fifth step in solving the Penrose cube is to permute the edges. And after you permute the edges, your result should look like this. If you get a case where only one edge is in the right spot, but the other three are not, then do this algorithm R U R prime U R U2 R prime and that solves all of the edges
And if you get a case like this, and if you do the algorithm, but then on the right spot, then that means you have to do the algorithm twice in order for them to be oriented. Now, when you get this case, when two opposite edges are solved, but these two are not, do this algorithm, r prime, u prime, r, u prime, r prime, u2, r. And if it doesn't work, uh, and if it results in this, when two adjacent edges are solved, but these two are not, do the algorithm again, then you'll have all of your edges solved. The sixth step in solving the Penrose cube is to permute the corners. So first off, find a corner that's in the right spot. For example, the yellow, blue, blue is in the right spot, but doesn't have to be oriented. And then hold it to your right, and then do this algorithm. L prime, U, R, U prime, L, U, R prime, U prime. And if, that, and if it doesn't work, do the algorithm one more time, and then you'll have all of your corners permuted. If you don't find a corner, do the algorithm anywhere on the cube, and then find a corner that has been permuted. This one has been permuted. I'll do the algorithm. On the right spot, do it one more time, and there we go. Now, if you get this case, we will have two corners that are in the right spot, but there are two other corners that are not. The bad news is you got corner parity, and if you have that, then do the H prim algorithm, which goes like this M2 U. M2, U2, M2, U, M2. And find another cor an e another edge that is permuted. Don't go here, because you'll get the same case. Uh, just go here. Just find another edge that is already permuted. And three others that are not. Then do the algorithm. R, U, R prime, U. R, U2, R prime, they're all permuted. Then we'll just have to find a corner in the right spot. And then we have to take this corner here by doing this algorithm. L prime, U, R, U prime, L, U, R prime, U prime. Doesn't work. We'll do one more time. And there we go. Problem solved. Now for the final step is to orient the corner, top corners. And just like in the second step, we'll use the algorithm R prime, D prime, R, D, do it all over again. But if we have an oriented uh, corner, we have to move it out of the way by doing a U, then orient this corner, then do a U, orient this corner, orient it, so it's like this, move it away, orient this one, then do the final moves, and there we go. You just solved the Penrose cube. So that is it for my tutorial on how to solve the Penrose cube. Hope this tutorial was helpful for you. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.